Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So a lot of you guys probably seen the future banners for 4.5 with Chiori, Ito, and Albedo on the banners. And for those of you who are contemplating on who to get for these three Geo characters, I will explain it all on this video coming from a maxed out Ito owner. So let's start with each character's pros and cons, starting with Ito. His pros are Ito is a burst damage geo main dps and he has a fast attack for a claymore user and is highly tanky due to his build of death his cons are he is very burst reliant he is definitely not an explorer character because he is burst reliant and he is weak against enemies that move or become vulnerable a lot like the setek greenut i think i don't know how to pronounce it now let's move on to chiori her pros are a geo main or sub dps, she isn't an ultra reliant character, has small puppets that damage the enemies, and has both def and attack scaling which makes it flexible to build. Her cons are a long cooldown on her elemental skill. Now let's move on to Albedo. His pros are he is a great support for 3 characters. Ito, Chiori, and Navia if you already have her. Elemental skill is great for exploration, you can create this elevator thingy and last a long time and has a very short cooldown. His cons are maybe his elemental skill cannot be placed in some areas. So with that explained, who should you pick? Who should you pull? Since Albedo is the last character to show up on the banners, because it goes from Chiori and Ito and then Albedo. It is very good to get Albedo if you have the characters mentioned, Ito, Chiori, or Navia, because with Ito, you increase his overall geo damage, and with Chiori, you can increase his, her geo damage because her passive increases her geo damage by 20% for 20 seconds when there's a geo construct spawned near her and Albedo's elemental skill is a geo construct and Navia to boost the creation of crystallized crystals. He is very easy to build especially if you have the Albedo event sword which scales with death and all you actually need is death and geo damage. If you're looking for an all out burst DPS that does ton of damage in a short amount of time or maybe you like the playstyle of Xiao or Sino, then Ito is the guy for you. His insane damage in his ultimate coupled with his fast attacks makes it easy to do bosses and the essential support you actually need to have is Goro. If you're looking for character for exploration and easy access to damage, or if you like the playstyle of Kaching and Ahohaitam, then Chiori is the character for you. Her easy geo attacks and coordinated geo attacks from her geo construct Coupled with the fact that her geo damage is increased by 20% for 20 seconds if there's a geo construct spawned nearby, meaning if you have Zhongli and Albedo, she will definitely shine more. And she is a flexible on and off field support. And that's it for this video. I hope this video helps you to choose between these characters and who to pull. Comment down below on what you're planning on pulling, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.